Konnichiwa, this is Lara Barcos from ERC51 and I'm here to introduce to you what Japanese architecture is all about. When you hear the words Japanese architecture, we all know that the first thing that comes to your mind is a temple or perhaps a shrine or a palace or any monumental buildings that we often see in Japanese movies and even in anime. Today, we will discuss how it all started, what are the main aspects, features, and styles, and of course, the famous structures that can be found in Japan. So, without further ado, let's begin. Japanese architecture went through several periods of innovation over the history of Japan. The early 7th century was dominated by wooden structures such as shrines and temples built by the nobles. This is known as the Asuka and Nara periods, which were also periods of blossoming art and culture in Japan. In 9th century, wood temples began to spring up in greater numbers. This era was followed by the Kamakura and Muromachi eras, which were characterized by the construction of a tea house, which was an important aspect of noble life in this era. Castles began to show in 17th century, which were meant to house few the lords and their soldiers. After World War II, Japan quickly modernized with the introduction and influence of Western architecture leading to some truly inspiring buildings made of metal and concrete. The following are the six main elements of traditional Japanese architecture. By far, the most prominent feature of traditional Japanese buildings is the dominance of wood. This was preferred over stone and other materials because of the risk of earthquakes. All Japanese houses relied on movable screens called shoji and sliding doors called fusuma to divide rooms as desired. They tend to be likely to allow natural light and shadows into the rooms. The roof is the most visually impressive component often comprising half the size of the whole structure. The slightly curved eaves extend far beyond the walls, covering verandas. Tori is the symbol of a shrine or gate. This represents the division between the everyday world and the divine world. Pagodas are usually square in plan and five stories in height. It is here that holy relics, said to be the remains of the Buddha, are preserved. Japanese castles are elaborate in design and strongly fortified to demonstrate the power of the Joshu or Lord of the Center. Finally, here are the top 5 structures that you will not miss on your Japanese tour. Himeji Castle contains 83 buildings made in wood. This great structure is also known as White Huron because of the white plaster that covers its walls. Tokyo Imperial Palace is the residence of Japanese royal family. It is used for state receptions and as the holding place for official state ceremonies. Yakushiji Temple is dedicated to Yakushi Nyarai, the Buddha that was originally from China. Covering an area of 30 square kilometers in Hiroshima Bay, the Itsukushima Shrine is a Shinto temple dedicated to the princess daughters of the wind god Susanoo. Golden Pavilion Temple in Kyoto has the upper two stories covered in pure gold and Casino Online is covered by a beautiful garden with a mirror pond in front. Now, for a quick review, I have prepared 5 questions to test your knowledge. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. For the first question, this is about the origin. Japanese architecture was dominated by wooden structures such as shrines and temples on what century? Is it A, 9th century, B, 7th century, C, 11th century, or D, 18th century? You have 5 seconds to answer. Time's up. The correct answer is B, 7th century. Next question. Pagodas are usually square in plan and how many stories in height? Is it A, 4 stories? B, 3 stories, C, 7 stories, or D, 5 stories. You have 5 seconds to answer. Time's up. The correct answer is letter D, 
five stories. Next question. This bead structure is also known as white heron because of the white plaster that covers its walls. The choices A. Himeji Castle B. Yakushiji Temple C. Golden Pavilion Temple or D. Tokyo Imperial Palace You have 5 seconds to answer. Time's up. The correct answer is A. Himeji Castle Number 4 This is the symbol of a shrine or gate. This represents the division between the everyday world and the divine world. Is it A. Pagoda B. Tori C. Palace or D. Tea House Time's up. The correct answer is B. Tori For the last question, if movable screens mean shoji in Japanese, what do sliding doors mean? Is it A. Kamakura, B. Asuka, C. Kusuma, or D. Nara? You have 5 seconds to answer. Time's up? And you got it right! It's letter C. Kusuma. Okay, so that ends this video and I hope you gained something from the short presentation. Again, this is Lara Barcos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!